Now, we read The King of Scars a couple weeks back, and it was great. And I found out that it was a part of a greater universe known as the Grishaverse, and that th that was one of the more recent books, and that I hadn't read some of the older books of the Grishaverse. And that is the Grisha Trilogy. Hello, fellow bookquesters! It is I, am the bookquester, so today I have this awesome epic book. Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo, as always, and well, let's get right on to it. Several things I want to point out on the cover, unlike everything I've ever read, by Veronica Ross, best-selling author of Divergent. Hello, I love Divergent. Let's go look back. Bardugo crafts a first-rate adventure, poignant romance, and intriguing mystery all in one book. One of my favorite authors, Rick Riordan, best-selling author, best-selling author of the Percy Jackson series. So if two of two of my top 20 authors say that this book is good, I read it, and I read it fast. And well, let's get right on to it. So it is about a girl named Alina Starkov, and she it was orphaned in a mansion by a rich old man. And he has, she has a friend named Mal, who becomes an expert tracker and extremely charismatic. And she and Mal and a bunch of troops are supposed to go across the fold, the shadow fold, which is a barren area where monsters dwell, in order to get some trades in, and they are soldiers, and mean they're soldiers, and meanwhile, our dear Alina is a cartographer, a map maker. Then something extraordinary happened. The winged monsters that live within the fold, that were once human, mind you, but more are more like mummified zombie demon things, I guess you could call them, and they basically swoop down, and they were gonna kill Alina and Maul, but then there was a Brilliant burst of light. And then, they were rescued. We don't know what in the world happened. So, the Darkling. An extremely powerful Grisha. Grisha is another word for magic users in this book. And basically, that man, that Darkling, he is a living amplifier. An amplifier is a object or a person that, you know, that amplifies the power of a Grisha. For example, if, if an Inferni has an amplifier, without the amplifier, they would be made, able to make a little flame. With an amplifier, they can make, make a huge bonfire. It's kind of that kind of difference. And the, dark, the Darkling is a living amplifier. So basically, he amplifies Alina Starkov's power and finds out that he is the Sun Summoner, who can summon brilliant bursts of light and might be the only solution in destroying the fold, the Shadow Fold. Then, Alina Starkov is taken to the little palace to be trained as a Grisha. She is the Sun Summoner, and she basically, she trains, and meanwhile, the Darkling basically seduces her, and, and Alina has a slight crush with Dark, the Darkling, and there, she meets several controversial characters. One of them is Gwen, who can... Um, shift and change a person's facial faces and basically make people look a little bit more handsome. And there's Zoya, who is extremely pretty and very powerful, who wants to be the Darkling's number one pet. And it's just kind of weird, I guess. And yeah, everyone wants the Darkling's attention, and Darkling, he isn't a human at all. Well, he seems to be, but he really, really isn't. And then, well, our dear Alina goes through her hard training, trains to fight with a little blade, and yeah, she's just really, really cool. She's a full-on Grisha now. Then she finds out about the Darkling's plot. He doesn't want to destroy the Shadow Fold. He wants to expand it. Because if he expands the Shadow Fold, and then she could blackmail other countries and say, I will expand the Shadow Fold to your reign. And it will destroy everything in your country if you don't do as I say. The Darkling, basically, wants to be the ruler of the world. But there was one problem. The zombified, mummified, flying demon men, well, they are only scared of one thing, and that's light. Alina Starkov was the solution to that. And then, there was an amplifier, an amplifier of a stag. 
And if you if you got an amplifier stag and dar the Darkling killed it and got the bones and made a necklace out of it and clamped it around of Alina's throat, Alina will be the Darkling slave forever. And I would want to avoid that. Though Alina ran like crazy, where and she managed to meet Mal, and together they hunt the stag first. If she manages to find the stag and put it on herself, she might be almost as powerful as the Darkling himself, which was the only way they might be able to stop the Darkling's dastardly plot. Which is epic, and, and they were about to kill the stag when Alina thought, how could she kill a stag, kill the stag, and she felt sorry, she didn't kill it, and the Darkling came along, killed the stag, and clamped the necklace around her, and she was the Darkling slave forever. And then they went to the Shadow Fold, and with Alina Starkov to keep away the nearby monsters, the Darkling just clapped his hands and expanded the Shadow Fold and destroyed things, destroyed villages, destroyed cities. And he said that if you don't bow to me, I will destroy everything. Jeez Louise, what is that guy's problem? Anyway, so that's what's going on. And then Alina realized that she had got given mercy on the stag. And the person who had shown mercy has equal right to control the amplifier as the person who killed the thing. And Alina Starkov took control of herself and saved Maul from certain death and managed to run away. And she mastered a very powerful Grisha technique called the cut, which is like a, she does this. And then a huge tree comes toppling down. And yeah, so she becomes really, really powerful and she shuts out the light. And in the confusion with the monsters running around, they run away. And that is the end of the first book. And I am actually really, really hopeful that the second one was, was in the library, except it isn't. The only two books in the Grishaverse in, this, in my freaking school library is Shadow and Bone and King of Scars. Well, god dang it. Why? Just why? But anyway, I'll probably purchase the other books or try to make the librarian get it for me. And yeah, it's gonna be great. It is a great book. You should definitely read it. Read it. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester. Have a great day. It's a great book. A fantasy. A fantasy that is different than any other. Goodbye.